celebrating. Well, thank you, everyone. It's very warm in here, and uh, it's a great support for you guys all week. Incredible night, incredible fight, incredible performance from Chantelle Cameron defending her undisputed super lightweight world championship. We're going to go over to you guys for, for questions for, for Chantelle and, and Jenna. Chantelle, just a question there. Just going into the table, what did your opponent say? Yeah, just interrupt Just told me to keep doing what I'm doing, and uh, don't, don't always have the last say. So were you worried when you got to the school class and you had the school class? Yeah, I was really fucking jumped. Were you worried that you were going to lose the weight and then take your punches and have a take in the final Yeah, Katie definitely had the speed, but I was a bigger girl and after that, I was using my shrimps. Yeah, I think, um, obviously, <laughs> to speak to Chantel and saying there is a rematch called on. I don't think Katie would be able to sleep till that fight, but it was a tremendous fight. And, and Chantel mentioned something interesting in, you know, about fighting maybe for Katie's belt. I don't know what, what they're going to want to do, but to become a two division undisputed champion. But obviously, it's going to be a massive fight. But tonight it belongs to Chantel Cameron. <laughs> Yeah, it feels nice. I was think <coughs> first first time a big a big show has happened in, in the Republic for six or seven years. Uh, I'm just glad that it, in, a, in, a, in a tough competitive fight, the right winner came out and then um, the sport isn't tainted in a bad light again, which it has been in the past. I'm just glad the right person won and I'm just over the moon for the show. I just, you know, styles are everything. And five years ago, when Chan first came to my gym, I said, You've got the style, what's needed to beat Katie Taylor. And um, and if you keep working hard, you'll beat her one day, you'll beat her. And that day, that day is coming around and happened. And uh, I told you it was going to happen. <laughs> just do it, just scream if you want. <laughs> So the, the hardest job in the world is not coaching any of their fights, it's making sure he's keeping them in straight and straight on the straight and narrow. That sounds like one of the hardest parts of your career. Oh, yeah, definitely. Katie is a great fighter, great ambassador for the sport, and it always going to be a tough night. And it comes to Dublin, her homecoming, everything was against me, everything was in favour of Katie, but it shows what I'm about. To be fair, I'm just excited for a spice bag tonight. <laughs> Speak to my team. I think I uh, went for undisputed against McCaskill. She never put her belts on the line. This time, Kate came up to my way again. I put my belts on the line. That's two times now I beat two undisputed world champions back to back. And uh, tonight, everything was in Kate's favour. So, speak to my team, see what's next. and. I'm just going to enjoy this win, see what happens. What will the card be? Yeah, we see. <laughs> I think she deserves a home with herself, to be fair. You know, she's travelled, she's, she's been away from home um, to, to get world titles. I know she won the, the, the first one was at MK Dungeon, and, but um, she's, yeah, she's, she's done everything asked of her, and I think you know, she's, some, some of the terms maybe deserve to be in Chantel's favour now. Do you to that? If you don't mind. <laughs> Uh, whether it makes sense, you know, obviously uh, there, there is already a clause in place to fight again. It's not you know, tonight. You, you'll see the fight again, in my opinion, but tonight's about a great performance from Chantel Cameron. And what she said is right. Jessica McCaskill was undisputed at 147. She came down to challenge for Chantel for undisputed. And Katie came up. She's undisputed by the way. She beat two reigning undisputed champions back to back. Incredible. I was buzzing off it. Sorry. I was buzzing off it. The great ring it was about eight different songs. Shout out to once. No, 
Like, if you see me all week, I'm cool, calm, and collected. That's what I am. But my team around me, and that's all I need. All, all it is is noise, and that's what I kept thinking. It's just noise. As soon as that bell goes, it's, I do what I do every day in the gym. What's the class of the way is noise? It's irrelevant. It's tunnel vision all day. What was your corner saying to you during the fight? All sorts. I just said that early on, we was, we was totally in control, I felt, for the first four or five rounds. Uh, maybe maybe dropped the fifth round, I think it was. Um, but I just said, keep doing what you're doing. I thought Katie came back really well in those sort of middle rounds, seven, eight, and closed the gap a little bit. Um, but I think the only reason she was able to do that was because Chantal sort of allowed her to do it. I actually thought she'd start quicker, I've got to be honest with you, but now, in hindsight, looking at it, she was trying to conserve herself for those later rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well. yeah. And, and I think she knew Chantal was going to come on late, so she tried to conserve it for like a drop the other rounds in doing so. But um, Eddie's right, you know, two, that was a great fight tonight. And too many times in boxing, we have a great fight and we don't see rematches because Egos get involved, or these you know, people are so asking for too much money. That should be run back without a doubt, and hopefully it's in our ter- on our terms this time because I think Chantel deserved it. But without a doubt, Katie Taylor's done so much for the sport in terms of attracting so many girls in- into the sport. We're only sat here in a way because of Katie Taylor, so she deserves the rematch. Uh, but I think it should be done more on uh, Chantel's terms. Chantel. I think in my work rate, I'm always fit and um, got a high work rate. I'm tough, I know how to work on the inside and just do what I do every day in the gym. And my team see it every day and just had faith in me and I just had to execute. And closing body, closing your team. Is that the number two? I mean, you heard the same number two HD. So, I've heard a few rumours that she don't like body shots, so I was going for them. Yeah, right. the head and obviously and stuff like that. Those head clashes or head if, 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 if Katie Taylor, she just played the pound. If Katie, it's exactly, if Katie Taylor was already ranked number one pound for pound, which I believe she was, then if somebody's just beating her, then surely that makes her the best pound for pound. That's my He's the <laughs> pound for pound best. Matt, you know what? She's in good, she's got this thing for a reason. She's a pound for pound number one. She's a pound for pound number one. He's the best in the, the night in the world. Can somebody no remove him? From, can somebody take him out? He's got to put 20p in him. <laughs> Thank you. Um, when you were on TV for the, for the first time, um, all the boys were on stage and you were like, what do I do next? What do I draw next? So the last talk that you looked quite confused by the season, what this is doing for um, When are the moments where you look back and you go, you know, this is where I like to get my own weeks spent and where I just want to be able to speak for myself? When are the moments where you so when I won Undisputed, I remember I was speaking to Jeremy and Nigel and said, like, what is going to be next? Because I never thought that Katie felt would ever come about and it was kind of like, I don't want to just box and mandatory and not go anywhere else. And um, it was a bit like, I remember I was, I was just saying, what are we going to do? I've just uh, been on such a high, how am I going to get this high again? And then it's just crazy how Katie called me out and obviously I beat her tonight and I feel like, I achieved one mountain and I've just climbed another mountain, so um, yeah, just I don't even know what's next now. How much more do you respect Kate? Obviously, you respect her that she's the other fan of Kate, but obviously, she hasn't been with her for then. Kind of stepping up, calling you out, but then coming forward, stepping up to face you up in a higher way. How much do you respect her even more now that she's been threatened this year? I've always had huge respect for Kate. That was one of my fears going into. The thing tonight, and Jamie kept saying to me, like, no respect, no respect, making making sure that I, I didn't give her... Not in a bad way, by the way. <laughs> Just to make sure she's in the right mind, frame of mind. Because so many people, it's so easy to give Katie so much respect for what she's done, and they have to go in there and let it go out the window, because you can't help but respect her. She's a nice woman, 
great athlete, great boxer, and what she's done for women's boxing is unbelievable. So it is very hard not to show that sort of respect. And tonight for me, it was about making sure they went out of the window with the girl went. Yeah, I mean, again, that's the feedback, you know, like Chantal says, you know, she walked further tonight. I mean, Katie got on the scales first. Yes, I don't think she was supposed to, but she <laughs> got on them. So, but, you know, I think a lot of male fighters can learn a lot about if you believe you can lift. Sometimes you haven't got to let the ego get involved. Chantel's come and she's, met, she's never once felt like the victim, you know, oh, I've not got this and I've not got that. She went, I understand. She's the star, and I believe I can beat her if I do that, but now she beat me. So, you know, Katie was a challenge tonight, but when actually I want to she may be the champion next time. And it's good if you do it a lot, but again, it's, it's, it's really, I'm, because like um, Jamie said, the biggest fight in women's boxing right now is Chantel Cameron against Katie Cameron, basically. So, we'll, we'll find a way, but it's, at the moment, she deserves her break, her respect, because she, I believe she has to call herself pound for pound number one. After, after that performance and beating Jessica and Cassie as well. Is the broken floor a big part of how Lydia Williams looked? And who was taking that? So, yeah, like, what were they? Um, we, like, we went into this fight kind of, we had the blueprint anyway, but um, Katie is such a great boxer, and uh, I think she's going to want a rematch because she's, she's going to want to put this, put this night to bed and um, try and get the win over me. But like I said, I'll, now it's on my terms, and I speak to my team, and we'll see what's next. Does it make any difference if you put in the UK and push that to the UK? Don't know, we'll see. said, great fight, and thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Great fight. It's hard to call because um, I never really think when I'm fighting about what rounds I'm winning. I'm just just tunnel vision and just throwing rounds and just getting the job done. So I, to be honest with you, I, I don't go by rounds. I I, I go <coughs> seven three. In my mind, going at the end of the fight, I do seven three. So you can't complain the six four. I thought the draw was harsh, but I thought six four. You couldn't argue that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Any more guys? All right, guys. Hold on, Chantal.